Awesome. I am so thankful to be here with you. Before we get started on the presentation, Antoine said some great things about me, but there's, uh, I want you to, to meet the real power behind, uh, behind, you know, the brains behind the shop, brains behind the organization, the person who's really responsible for, for helping so many of you. Many of you know her and you already love her. Those of you who don't, you will soon. Please welcome my wife, Diana. Just stand up, sweetie, and wave. Thank you. Thank you. Next to Diana is our, our business partner, who there is no one I would rather choose to make this run with. He has been a, a tremendous asset. So many of you in the room rely on him or already, and you know that, that he is there for you to help you in any way. Welcome, Wes Bishop. They already love you guys. You know, about 10 years ago, I was on the mission field, and, and I used to get home, and Diana and I would, would process what was going on, and my heart would, would inevitably be, be broken, because we'd make a difference, but we'd make a difference just for that moment. Do you know, and then the tsunami hit. We went to Sri Lanka and spent time on, on the, the dirt floors, and, and we would do some building, and then we, I, I'd get home, and, and depression would hit. Do you know, what, what are we really accomplishing? Yeah, I know it's like the starfish. You throw one in, you help that. But, but we felt so helpless overall. Then a few years later, I was in Cuba, and, and, and we would walk miles and miles to help these small villages and actually do some baptisms where nobody can see. And it felt great at the moment, and then we'd come, we, we, we'd come back to the United States, and all the people would be in the same impoverished position that they were before we left. And, and, and we just felt impotent, you know? We felt like there was nothing we could do for lasting change. And Diana and I were just, just praying, saying, what can we do? There's got to be a way to really make something, a difference that's, that's lasting. Do you know something that, 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 that's impacting? So a number of years ago, we had a vision. We had a vision to, to create a culture of both success and significance. See, if success is what happens to you, then significance is what happens through you. Yes, of course we should strive for success. It's contagious. By the way, if you hear something you like, feel free to applaud. I can see you. This isn't TV. Okay? <laughs> so we're, we're saying, what can we do? A and actually, we met over the years, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 networking companies, and it just wasn't the right one. Just, just there, was, there, was never, there was never an emotional fit. But having dinner with Andy McWilliams, pouring my soul out, then he met Diana, and we were sharing there, we were just talking about the whole process, and Andy said, your vision is my vision. This is what we, we want this company to be a company of lasting significance. Is that exciting, just that concept? Because wait till you hear what we're doing. So I want you, I want you to just think for, for a moment of what, the, what it would be like if everyone here could really, what if you could really make a difference? Well, I want to introduce you to the world of social entrepreneurship. What is it? All social entrepreneurship is, is using entrepreneurship, using for-profit principles to solve social global issues. How many of you know that the current not-for-profit not begging model isn't working? What do you think? Well, what if we can use 
for-profit principles use entrepreneurial know-how to really solve the, the, the major social issues of our time. Is that something, if you can do that while making a profit, doing good while doing well, while living well, would you want to know about that? <laughs> Guys, this is big. I'm telling you, you, you can cheer. Feel free to cheer. Because what social entrepreneurship is, is empowering ordinary people to make an extraordinary impact. Every single person in this room, all of us will be able to leave a true legacy. See, there are four elements of social entrepreneurship, and the first two are the same. With every entrepreneur, see a problem, find or create the solution. But what a social entrepreneur then does is add two elements. Aside from seeing the problem and then creating the solution, a social entrepreneur taps into people's passions and then incentivizes them to help solve the issue, to be part of the solution. So let me give you a 50,000 foot view, just very quickly. I want you to imagine with me. Imagine being part of a company where social entrepreneurship, where doing good while making a living, where outreach was actually part of the company DNA. Would that excite you? Really? Imagine being part of a company where, you know what, the top earners deserve, they've earned luxury. But what if the incentive trips for leaders combined earned luxury with real outreach, outreach whether we're serving in an orphanage or teaching life skills to the poorest of the poor? What if we could do both? Would you want to be part of that vision? Imagine being part of a community where service was part of the DNA. Whether it's bringing our gifts and serving in a battered woman's shelter, a homeless shelter, an orphanage. It's creating authentic community. See, that's what M Life, that's what we're launching today. M Life, and that's what M Life is all about. Guys, you should be up in your chairs going nuts for this concept because now what we're talking about is leaving a legacy. You know what? Creating the wealth is awesome. Creating it is awesome. What if we can do both? So I want to introduce you because all that was 50,000 foot view and Andy McWilliams is so excited about it to, to make M Life and social outreach really part of our everyday culture. But now let's bring it, let's bring it into something how we can start. So the first step in our M Life Social Entrepreneurship Program, introducing M Cares, sustainable giving for churches, ministries, PTAs, and other not-for-profit organizations. What if? What if you could truly make a living by doing good? You know, all of us would love to. We'd love to do good. People, I, I generally, genuinely believe people want to do, they want to do good. But you know, by the time we get home and we have to take care of the dog and feed the kids and do the dishes and just do life, we forget about all the good we wanted to do all day. What if doing good was what you did for a living. Well, welcome to M Life, because now that's possible. So let me ask you something about the current fundraising efforts of your church, your school, your PTA. Are they sustainable? I have three questions. Are, they, are the current fundraising programs sustainable? Do you know what I mean by sustainable? Do you have to eat them every month? Do you know, that's a lot of lemonade. Or are your current fundraising efforts using products that everyone uses and needs every day? Can you guess where we're headed with this? Third question. Are your current fundraising efforts asking people to spend money they don't have buying things they don't need? 
Isn't that the way most organizations are doing it right now? Well, let me ask you one more bonus question. Are the current fundraising efforts you see making everyone around you fat? Nothing against Krispy Kreme. You can tell I eat more, the, more of them than I should. But do you think we should really base the lifeblood of it? Some of these organizations are doing such great work. Should we base the lifeblood on them? On brownies and cupcakes and lemonade and donuts? Isn't there a better way? Say yes. Yeah. I'm telling you there is. But let's go through the challenge first. See, there's a big challenge. In the United States and Canada, the most giving nations in the world, the challenge is out the needs. They're, they're, out, they're, they're bigger than our, our abilities to give. Because of that, see, the needs are over here, but the, the, the resources, because of the economy, they're not what they used to be. Now, I don't actually believe that. I believe in abundance, but it's certainly the perception. Because of that, the reality is we cannot give our way out of these great social global challenges. We will not be able to give our way out. But what if we can consume our way to a solution using products or services that every single home needs? Would that make sense? Absolutely it would. So let's talk about compassionate consumption. Isn't that a great phrase? Isn't that awesome? Say yes. yes. Here's the issue. Welcome. We are now introducing MCARES, truly sustainable giving, and the most revolutionary social entrepreneurial model introduced in relationship marketing. It's the first time in this industry that we're not asking organizations to buy stuff they don't need, to sell, sell stuff people don't need. Instead, an organization, a church, a ministry, a PTA will receive a free website, promote the MCARE suite of services, and just like usual, supporters enroll on their website and become customers. And what do they get for it? Check this out. Four dollars per energy customer every month. That's wild. And how about two dollars per customer for, per month for non-energy related services? But what's in it for you? I mean, that alone should just get you so excited. But what's in it for you? Well, how about the feeling that comes only when you know you are making a sustainable difference in your community? Is that enough? Well, let's give you a little something something. How about this? How about a person who enrolls the organization receives a dollar per energy customer per month? Now how about 50 cents paid another five, six levels actually through the entire organization? What we're talking about is truly using social entrepreneurship, using entrepreneurial and for-profit methods to solve the great social global issues of our time. That should jazz you. Let's close with the vision statement. Listen to this. By inspiring, just that alone would be enough. What if we could just inspire? By inspiring a movement of social entrepreneurs, we will empower families around the world to live life to the fullest, retire with dignity, and leave a legacy to future generations. Together, we will give radically, live passionately, and create lives of impact, influence, success, and significance. I have about 10 more seconds. Here's the thing. Success is what happens to you. Significance, that's what happens through you. Together, we have an opportunity to build a company of global significance. Are you with me? Say yes. 
awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Welcome to MCARES. Thank <laughs> you.